This message is going to be for Virgos out there or Virgo cross watcher. You can also reverse this entire message. I want to preface this whole video by saying I apologize for the audio. It's going to be echoey guys. This is a new place that I am recording in right now while I take care of my grandmother. So it's, it can be, it's a little distracting, but I'm going to try to get those things where the foam pads, so it's not so loud and obnoxious. But anyway, here's what I'm getting for Virgo. So there's somebody here who really wants to build a connection with you. Okay, unless this is you really want to build with another. If you're with somebody, your partner wants to continue to build the bond. They want to maybe even build it back. Maybe you guys went through a rough patch and this person wants to make sure that you guys are stronger than ever, even if you have to kind of start over or date each other again in some way. But for the majority of you, I feel like this is someone new or someone that you've never been with before. I think this is an individual who's like, unless it's like a best friend, maybe someone who thinks of you as like a kindred spirit or an old soul or someone that they feel they've known their whole lifetime, or maybe they've known you for quite some time. Either way, whoever this individual is, it's like, I really want to get closer to you. I want you and I to know each other on our deepest levels. I want us to... I want us to be able to go there. I want you to, you to be able to go there with me. I want to be able to go there with you. I want to know your deepest, darkest thoughts and memories of your past. I want to tell you mine. Something about who you are tells me I need to get to know you better. I, I want to. I, I don't want to have it any other way. Like it's almost this heart pull, this heart. You see how I'm getting closer to? Like I'm actually, I'm not even sitting back. Like I'm on the edge of my seat technically. I'm not on the edge of my seat, I'm on the bed, but I feel as if I'm on the edge of my seat. Like you keep somebody wanting more or guessing or wondering, and I'm not saying you're doing that on purpose. It's just be, probably because it's so new, because you've never been together before for a lot of you. And um, there's this uncanny feeling, vibe of... Where do I know you from? Like, I feel like I've known you for so many lifetimes. There's something about it. You know, I want to get closer to you. I want you to feel safe with me. I want you to know that you're safe. And I want to know that I'm safe with you. But I think this is someone who knows they, they could be safe with you because you're honest. Even if you say shit, they probably don't want to hear. They know that they can trust you. And that, I mean, having respect for you is probably what's built somebody's love. Yeah, or it's doing it right now. It's currently building someone's love for you because you have so much self-respect or because you have You're so blunt and so honest like you don't say things that people want to hear and see I'm getting closer again. It's like I know sooner I go to like pull away and I'm hearing do my own thing And then I just want to come right back to you and that, that's it too. That's the key is it's like somebody keeps tapping back into your energy they can't stay away for long or Ever since they've become aware of you. <clears throat> I don't care however long it's been or however long it's been since y'all don't speak. Because I feel my, my throat is constricted. They find it hard to stay away from you. Even if like right now at this very moment while you're watching this video, this person isn't speaking to you a lot or at all. It actually doesn't have anything to do with that they don't want to. No. I'm hearing on the contrary. They more than want to. They want to... You, you may even end up being surprised what this person would do with you and how far they would take it. Some of you, they would marry you. If y'all both agree and you both want to get married, like this person would marry you. They would, they would take it all the way. But they want it to be solid. Like this is somebody who wants a tree that's really rooted and really grounded. You hear the birds? They want a strong foundation and they know that they could have that with you. They feel it. This is a very psychic person, by the way. They're very psychic. They're very intuitive because how would they know all this? It don't matter if y'all are friends. How would they know this deeply about you? I mean, they do. It's like they feel your soul so deeply. And if this is someone new, new, like y'all haven't even really talked at all or ever, and they're just, maybe they just met you online or something they're like <clears throat> there's no way 
they would feel this deeply for you if there wasn't some sort of soul connection or something. You know what I mean? Like this should actually make you feel very comforted in knowing that somebody looks at you as a trustworthy, there's a bus passing, a trustworthy friend or a trustworthy potential lover. Like I could probably really count on Virgo or Crosswatcher. Not probably, I'm pretty sure. You know, but how are they so sure? That's what I want to know. They're not completely sure. I think this person can tend to be just a tad bit negative. I mean, who can't though? I can be very negative at times because of my past. You know, I can be cynical. I can be negative. I can get depressed and down and be like, mm, I can't trust anyone. I don't even want to open my heart. Like, fuck that, you know? But I think they go through that, you know? If this is someone who's in a relationship, like currently with somebody, I don't think that's a lot of you, but if they are, for those of you that will resonate with, I truly think they're realizing they're not with the right one, and there's this longing for you. It's, it's, that is the fifth time I've seen the same vehicle pass. I'm going to choose to ignore it because, I'm, like I said, I'm in a different location, so... But that's just really odd to me. I mean, that's really odd to me. You could even have somebody here who feels like they got people watching them 24-7. That's not for everybody, but why did I just say that? Like they have somebody who's constantly watching them. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Hmm. You, you, it's something to do with trusting you. They may even trust that you're on the outside of it, like you don't know nobody they know. If you do, this may not be your message. I feel like this would be somebody on the outside of people that you know. Or they don't hang with your people. You know what I mean? They're not friends with your friends. They're not, this is somebody that's like, um, or sorry, you're not. You're not friends with their friends. You don't know the people they know. You don't hang in the same crowd. It's, you would be like their own personal person because you don't give a fuck about friends and you don't care about having, maybe you have your friends, but you got like your own friends. You got people you trust, but it ain't a whole lot of people. Like the people in your corner are there because they have been verified, <laughs> right? As being trustworthy, honest, loyal, you know, like your circle is small, but the people that are in it are a one you know these are very loyal people and you trust them with your life even if it's only a few this person's dealing with a lot of I'm hearing rats something to do with the Chinese year of the rat that's a train passing too um anyway it's like this person surrounded by people who are constantly watching them or this person feels that they have to always watch around them, like watch their own back. Let's look up the train meaning real quick. It's been a while since I've heard of train. Train spiritual meaning. According to Box Board, one, movement and change. Trains are symbolic of movement and change with their ability to transport people to new places and experiences. It also says something about a life journey, powerful force guiding you. Yeah, you're the guiding light for this person. You are the torch. You are the lantern for this individual, vice versa. They're the lantern for you. They're the guide for you. Whoever this is, whether it's a best friend, a love interest, a new love interest, best friend that will turn into a love interest, something like that, okay? It's like... You have no clue what a light you are in my life. You have no clue. I haven't been able to really get that across to you yet or tell you or let you know, but I'm always having to watch my back. I can't trust anyone that I'm around and you are a force to be reckoned with. Like you don't understand how powerful your energy is. You don't understand the impact that you've had on me. That's what I'm hearing. Holy, wow. 
You don't understand the impact that you've had on me. That could be honestly another reason somebody falls in love with you because that not only can they trust you and they have respect for you, but because you've changed them and now they, they you've got them thinking about changing their whole life. They may even live at a distance from you because train, paths, life journey. They don't have to live at a distance. It doesn't have to be a great distance, but for some of you it is. I'm hearing Great Lakes and then I'm hearing Great Danes. I'm going to do with Great. But either way, someone here is like, I want you all to myself and I want no one to know about it because what you are is not only very special, but I want it for me. I want something for me. I have to share with everyone else. I have to share everything. I'm constantly having to, like, everybody gets to pick me apart and judge me or something like that. This could even be somebody in the spotlight, guys. It doesn't have to be, but it's somebody who may feel like they're constantly having to give themselves out to people all day or they work with the public in some way. They work with a lot of people and then when they, 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 they just need someone who's like their own personal, I don't know, fucking mentor or best friend, like, I, and that's you or lover. Like, I want you. I know that I want you. Right now, I'm kind of not in a great spot. I think somebody's not in a great spot. It doesn't mean that they don't have great things going on in their life. They do. But inwardly, this is someone who's very emotionally discontent. They're not happy. Uh-uh. And they, they would tell you that. They're not going to lie. This is someone who's not going to lie either. I think they, they're so attracted to your energy because they also reflect your energy. They're very much like you. But whatever they do or whoever they're around, they're being pulled and tugged. And they have a lot of different directions that are calling them. But sometimes they just want it to be really still and quiet. And they don't want to have to stress as much as they've had to stress. And there's times this person just wants to give up. Like, why do I feel like this person has depression? I mean, don't we all really? I mean, I suffer with it, you know? It just depends on when it's going to hit me. It's like that. You know, like, you quiet the mind. You quiet the soul. You're almost like a Mr. Miyagi. You're like a guru for someone. Your energy, vice versa. This whole message could be reversed. And you have someone that's like, I love talking to you. I love listening to you. I love being around you. I love everything you say. I love it. Like, there's not another person like you. And I know because I see a lot of people. I'm around a lot of people. And you're very special. That's what someone's saying. I'm hearing Gemini. Okay, I'm hearing Pisces. I'm almost speechless a little bit because um, you may even seem a lot um, like I'm hearing wise for your years. So you could either be, there's like an age difference here between you and this person. Or if it's not an age difference, you could be the same age, but um, it feels like an age difference because where someone is mentally and emotionally, they're just now like catching up to you. And you've been there, like the place you're in spiritually and emotionally, your emotional and mental maturity and spiritual maturity. You've been there for a while and um, someone's like catching up to you. The letter R could be specific here. The letter R or the number four or something with four. Four. Like what four or forecast or before, before, before. Forecast for what four? I'm also hearing aqua four. Isn't that like a an ointment? Somebody in the medical field here, possibly for some, it doesn't have to be. I'm getting a lot of stuff here. Oh, now we're channeling. <laughs> Either way, somebody's like, um, it's 
you're what I want. A lot of you, it's romantic. You're what I want to have. You're who I want to have. Sorry, I don't mean to disrespect you by saying you're what I want to have. You're who I want to have. You're a person. Like this is, this person has a lot of respect for you. Okay. And a lot of respect for what you stand for and a lot of respect for what you do. Vice versa. You're who I want. Or you're the friend I want. Or you're the partner I want to keep. Because you give me life. You give me purpose. You give me the will to fight and the strength to keep going. You give me new perspectives. You give me a new way of seeing and thinking. You provide me with an open mind. With a different way, a different vantage point. You provide me with clarity. You help me to think things that I wouldn't possibly see otherwise. And I couldn't see it for the people I'm surrounded by. Like you pull this person out of the forest so they can stand on the outside and kind of hover over it and get a better view of the situations that they're in the people they involve themselves with like a lot of you this is a best friend or it's a new person who will be like your best friend vice versa but then it will become romantic for some of you not all of you some of you will just be friends it will be like your best friend now some of you it could be someone who they messed up in the past they were disloyal to you they didn't have your back and you you rose from the situation and you got stronger like this is someone who betrayed you i'm not going to keep on that i don't want to talk about that and ruin the energy i feel like it's still sensitive to you like bittersweet because you you looked at this person like a sister or a brother mm -hmm. um yeah i don't know how they betrayed you if not it could have been your own child but it's just like awful and it put you in a place where, boy, did you realize you couldn't trust a lot of people, huh? But this person's thinking right now, like, you, you've actually, you, you'd have no clue how much you're still light to this person. How much the things that you've said replay in their head constantly. And they are very regretful for having ruined the connection with you. Because they did. I'm not saying you're even holding this over their head. I don't think you are. I think that it's just, just like bittersweet to even think about. And maybe you haven't thought about this person in a while. You know, maybe you haven't let it get to you in a while or you haven't, you just, you had to give yourself closure or you had to just say, you know what? Um, like they made you look some type of way. They may have even painted a whole, I, 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 I'm getting for some of you that, that whoever this is, I can't even talk. You may have been speechless how much someone betrayed you. It was bad. For some of you. I'm getting off that. I'm not going to stick with that. Anyway. But yeah, for the most part, you have someone here who's like really, um, they admire you. And look to you for guidance and clarity on what they should do. I don't know why they're not telling you that, though. That's a little annoying. Like maybe they're just, maybe they are telling you. Maybe they are. Maybe they're about to. Maybe they are now. If this is you, maybe you are. It's like somebody is really, it's like, no, it's really important that I let you know how special you are to me. Like, you don't understand. You have no clue how, ooh, I want to cry out of nowhere. You have no clue how sad I have been. And you have no clue how much at times I didn't want to be here. You have no clue that when I encountered you, I was in one of the darkest places I've ever been in my life and just kind of going through the motions and feeling like I was just the shell of who I used to be and that basically I lost myself. Like this, you know, and then all the evil in the world and everything has just gotten me to a place where I just didn't want to be here anymore, you know, and you don't even know that, but seeing that you did it helped me know that I can do it. And if you can be so strong, there's the train again, then I can do it. You've given me the strength to fight and you don't even know by being the example that you've been. Wow. Courageous too is a big word for you. I also got that in Leo's. You may want to watch Leo's message. Here's why. 
Um, some of you may have been in DV relationships. This is just an example, it doesn't have to be. But you know, where even even the family, like abusive relationships, any type of abusive relationships, where um, an abuse doesn't have to be, it can be a million things. It could just even be neglect. Neglect is a form of abuse. Um, especially if it's someone that should come through for you, like parents or someone in a family, you know, like it would just, not that they're obligated, but it's like, I mean, if you're innocent and you can't take care of yourself and then they just up and fucking abandon you or leave you, like that's awful, you know what I mean? And so I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, abuse. Um, abandonment can be a form of abuse where it's just like, you know, I really needed you. Even if you had somebody there, they could be absent-minded, where they're not even there for you mentally, you know? Um, emotionally, they're pouring into all their romantic relationships, and they're pouring into their new marriage, and they're pouring into this guy and this girl and boyfriend and girlfriend, but they can't pour into their own fucking child. Like, what is that? You know? Some of you, that's your exact story, because I feel it. But then you pulled yourself through that, and somebody is, they see that in you, and they're like, wow. Like, they wonder how you do it. How do you even do it? How do you not lose it? And you're like, oh, I lose it. Are you kidding me? Don't judge a book by its cover. You have no clue. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh-uh. You're like, oh, I lose it. I'm more, I more than lose it. I've lost it, you know. I've been in very dark places and I still get in them, you know. It's like you're just able to really get somebody. Like I get you, you make me happy. And I wanna grow with you because of it. I wanna grow with you. I wanna be your best friend. I wanna show up for you like you've shown up for me and you've pulled me through so much darkness even though you don't even realize it. Because I can trust you for one and that's the biggest thing because I can't trust anyone. That's what I feel. I can trust you. If you told somebody you were not going to do something, like let's say you had something on someone. You may know something about someone or you may have a secret with someone. Like maybe you guys had an affair. That's an example. Maybe you and someone had an affair or y'all had a little thing for each other, but they were in a relationship and you may say, this is wrong. I can't. I can't do this. I'm married. Or you're married or something whatever that's an example guys it doesn't have to be an exact scenario you know and so you pulled away but then you know you didn't hear anything from this person they didn't say anything to you but inwardly you were thinking well this hurts <laughs> wow I wonder how long this would have kept going but then you tell them I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to ruin you I'm not gonna try to ruin your family you're not keeping this the secret if you will you're not keeping this secret because you're protecting you Maybe you're used to being shit on. You're like, oh, there's plenty of things I've been judged for, so what would what would it hurt if one more, you know? But you realized your wrongs or something, I don't know, this, and you, you kept your word, basically. Whatever you've kept your word on, someone is aware that you could have ruined them, and you haven't. You don't. And you wouldn't, and you won't. Why you won't with this person, it may just be your morals and because you understand that life will hand out karma on its own. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're thinking. Or like, this person's going to pay, you know. Or maybe you do love this person and you're like, I love this person. This person was like a brother to me or like a sister to me. Or you were romantically, you romantically loved someone. Whether you were with them or not, it was just an affair. I don't know. Vice versa. Someone here has kept a secret between them and another because... Either one of those reasons. Leaving it to the universe to hand out the karma and just saying, it's fine. I learned my lesson and they'll, they'll learn theirs whenever they're meant to. I don't need to bring them down. Um, or you love this person and you're like, I don't have to hurt them to validate my feelings. Like, I'll just chalk it up as a learning experience, you know. They're, they honor you for that even though they haven't told you that. They, they're they happy that you didn't try to rub their name in the dirt or something because they're aware that you could have. All right, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys for being here with me, and I'll talk to you later.